This week, during a press conference with uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene and uh, Louis Gohmert and Paul Gosar, Congressman Matt Gates goes up in front of the microphone, gives a little speech where he defends the Capitol rioters. They're alleging that they're somehow being mistreated, even though the courts have already found that that's not happening at all. No evidence to back up those claims whatsoever. And of course the idiots in that press conference couldn't provide any evidence either. They just made wild accusations and launched a couple new conspiracy theories. But Matt Gates did something different. Matt Gates gave us a horrifying glimpse into what the future could be like if Republicans take back the house of representatives in 2022. Here's what he had to say. We are going to take power after this next election. And when we do, it's not going to be the days of Paul Ryan and Trey Gowdy and no real oversight and no real subpoenas. It's going to be the days of Jim Jordan and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Dr. Paul Gosar and myself doing everything. Are you, are you scared yet? Because that's a horrifying reality that I don't want to live in. Matt Gates having power, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Gosar, Gomert, Jim Jordan having power. That's a terrifying reality, especially because of what Gates is saying here. And he did go on to elaborate more saying, we're going to issue tons of subpoenas. There's going to be all kinds of hearings. We're going to go after all these people. Now he didn't specify who was going to get the subpoenas, but we all know what they're going to do because they've made it clear. They're going to go after their political enemies. They're going to, they're going to attempt to tie up the democratic party for at least two years while they're in charge with nonstop subpoenas, nonstop congressional inquiries. They're going to make it appear as if the democratic party has just been breaking laws left and right, abusing their power. You know, all the things that Matt Gates is telling us the Republicans are about to do. Here's what's even scarier. Uh, it looks like right now they're poised to do that. The polls right now show generic Republican on the ballot beats generic Democrat on the ballot. Thanks to gerrymandering and redistricting, the Republicans have already essentially gained five seats in next year's election. Considering the fact that there's only a six seat difference between the two parties, that means if Democrats lose one seat, but hold on to all the others, Republicans still emerge with the majority. It'd be a one seat majority, but that's how thin that margin is. One seat. With Biden's approval rating so low right now, with all kinds of things happening that are not good for Democrats, either fairly or unfairly, Republicans are poised to make giant gains in next year's midterms. And that would of course lead us to this reality that Matt Gates is warning us about. Well, he's not warning. He's, you know, thinks it's going to be a good thing. Now there's a couple things that could happen, obviously. I mean, Matt Gates, in addition to having some pretty serious primary challengers, cause he neglects his district so he can be famous. Uh, he's also still under investigation. Matt Gates could end up in jail or at least indicted before next year's election. The chances of that are incredibly high. Although with the amount of time it's taking here, not as high as they may have been say five months ago, but because Joel Greenberg is still cooperating, the chances are still relatively high. Marjorie Taylor Green is also facing some primary challengers. Gosar embattled his own family despises the guy. He keeps making headlines for all the wrong reasons. He may not survive a primary challenge. Jim Jordan, probably safe, even though as we all know, he's got some, uh, skeletons in his closet that still haven't been fully fleshed out. Uh, so yeah, these are the people, these horrible, this disgusting little group of Jordan, Gosar, Green and Gates. Those are the people that Matt Gates are saying are going to be calling the shots. They're going to be calling the shots if Republicans win in 2022. And if you needed any motivation to get out there and vote against Republicans next year, I think that ought to do it.